Rashid Koppel here. I often hear business leaders complain about certain staff members not performing and getting the results they're expecting. Now, our natural inclination is to blame the person concerned. But is that always fair? Sure, some people don't perform, but could it be it's not completely their fault? So if it's not theirs, whose is it? In my experience, this comes down to a variety of factors. Is the person in the right role? Are they, are they capable of performing it? Do they fully understand what's expected? Are there clear KPIs and accountabilities that both parties agree to? Even more importantly, do they have the right values and attitudes that fit within your organization's culture? A couple of scenarios can play out. You can have a great person just in the wrong role. In that case, look for another role which would suit. Hopefully, there is one. But you could also have someone with great expertise but a lousy attitude, someone who rubs everyone up the wrong way even though they get great results, which causes a lot of friction and discontent. Slowly but surely, that's likely to damage your business. Now, as a leader, you get what you tolerate. I can't tell you what to do. I know what I would. If they don't fit in, no matter how indispensable they appear to be, I personally would move them on for the greater good, sooner rather than later. And yes, I know these are tough decisions, but who said leadership was easy? And leadership is also often lonely, which is why having a trusted coach or mentor where you can have frank conversations is in my mind vital. I've had many over the years and in turn work with my clients in this capacity as well. So if you feel I could help, reach out. Till next time, this is Rashid Kotwal.